These are the final three videos in this uh, coronavirus series. <laughs> yeah. Thank goodness did I hear you say that. <laughs> the first of them is by uh, Professor Ioannidis, which was an article which appeared in the publication of the American Institute of Stress <laughs> on the uh, 30th of March. second appeared on the 1st of April in the uh, Australian newspaper. It was very scathing of uh, Professor Ferguson. And the third and final of them is an article written by Peter Hitchens in the Mail on Sunday on the 22nd of March, uh, which preceded the uh, uh, the second article which uh, I, I dealt with in uh, an earlier video. Peter Hitchens is a journalist who, who doesn't really shy away from controversy. <laughs> and, uh, you seem to either agree with him or disagree with him. And uh, there doesn't seem to be a, a sort of middle ground. And he's appeared on all, pro all sorts of programmes on, uh, on television. And uh, following these two uh, articles which he's written, he's, he's never been off... Uh, the TV or the radio, or I noticed he'd been even been interviewed by <laughs> a retired uh, Australian politician. Anyway, make of them all what you will, but uh, my hooks have arrived, and uh, so I'm a bit of fly tying, and uh, if I don't cut this grass out here, I mean it's almost knee high on a sheep. Anyway, take care. We'll see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs>
again, this testing is uh, to find out who's had it. It's very controversial in the United Kingdom, they just don't have the kit to do it. Patients who have been tested for SARS-CoV-2 are disproportionately those with severe symptoms and bad outcomes, Ioannidis explains. With very limited testing in many health systems, he suggests, the selection bias may only get worse going forward. Ioannidis then zooms in on the one situation where an entire closed population was tested. The Diamond Princess cruise ship's quarantine passengers. While the fertility rate was 1%, he pointed out, the population was largely elderly, the most at-risk at, at demographic. Projected, projected out under the age structure of the US population, he calculates, the death rate is more like 0.125%, with a range of 0.025 to 0.625 based on the sample size. A huge range markedly affects how severe the pandemic is and what should be done, I don't need stresses. A population-wide case fertility rate of 0 0.05 is lower than the seasonal influenza. If that is the true rate, locking down the world with potentially tremendous social and financial consequences may be totally irrational. It's like an elephant being attacked by a house cat. Frustrated and trying to avoid the cat, the elephant accidentally jumps off a cliff and dies. <laughs> For those who argue that the high fertility rate amongst elderly people indicates that the death rate cannot be as low as 0 0.05, the professor notes that even some so-called mild or common cold type coronaviruses that have been known for decades can have case fertility rates as high as 8% when they infect elderly people in nursing homes. Yes, I would think a nursing home is not a good place to be at the moment. Anyway, again, make of that what you will.